All right, I'm very confused right now because I put in Goodwill and the GPS took me to somewhere that's not Goodwill. This is called Henry's Thrift and Gift Shop in Almasasa, Florida. I was all excited because I'm like, oh, there's another Goodwill I didn't know about close to where I've been going, but it's not a Goodwill. So we're here, so we're gonna go in. I've never been here and we'll see what we can find. All right, so I have never been here. I thrift all around this area. This one is kind of off the main road. So I'm not sure if it's new or I just didn't know about it. But I am glad we are here and we are going to check it out and see what they have. And it's not cash only. So that's definitely a bonus here lately. So this is a really really big shop just first glance here it looks like they have quite a bit of space and they have an atm see the cash only places should have that look at how cute this is this is two dollars it's leonard's creations and it's a bottle with a cork with real dried flowers and some moss in it and i think that is super cute so for two dollars i'm gonna grab it here they have a little Christmas room and it says that unmarked ornaments are 50 cents each which is not bad so we'll see if we see anything in here this hanging up is pretty cool this is Daisy Kingdom and it's a piece of fabric with all these different little craft projects on it and it is only two dollars which is a great price Let's see if we see anything else here. I love this little stocking. This is like a little vintage sweater stocking. So that one didn't have a price. I believe I ended up getting that for 50 cents, which is not too bad. And we'll see if we see anything else. And they've got a little bit of Halloween stuff here, but not too much there. Let's go see what we see in here with the glasses and china. It seems like they like the $2 price on a lot of these things. And I don't know about you, I don't like these <laughs> square shelves because I feel like I have to go around and around and around. I like straight shelves, but that is okay. So hopefully I don't make you dizzy going round and round. This is a really, really pretty glass bowl. I'm not sure what brand. They have it at four, but with just a single bowl, I'll leave it. And now we're at my favorite section, which is linen. And we'll see what we see. It looks like this is like a mola print. If you find real mola that looks like that print, it can be really valuable. That was a handmade apron out of a mola print. And I absolutely love these. I think these are woven placemats. They are very thick and very heavy. I don't see a price on those, so we will put those in the basket and here are some fiesta placemats those were 475 let's see if we see any other placemats up here now these i really like these are really cool palm tree tapestry placemats and it's four for two and then the ones on top are two dollars too and those are quilted hand sewn christmas placemats They've got some doilies in here. I don't pick up a bunch of single doilies because I can find a lot of these on online auctions and big lots. And that is typically how I buy those so that I get them at like 50 cents to a dollar each. Because a lot of times they're only worth 12 to 15 dollars. So I don't like to pay much more than 50 cents. Look at how cute. 
That one they had at $2, though. That's another one that's probably about $12 to $15, so I am going to refrain from that. One of the best places for the linens, besides, like, church thrift stores that price them at that dollar, is garage sales and estate sales, as well as online auctions, too. I am attempting to stay away from online auctions right now because I actually have a ton of inventory because I've been finding so much thrifting, so... I am not letting myself even look because if I look, I tend to buy a lot and I don't need a lot right now. That one's just a Walmart brand shower curtain. And here are some garden flags, but they actually have the garden flags at $5. So it's kind of weird. It seems like they're breakables here. They have price pretty fairly at around two dollars but they seem to like the linens here so this shop for me is not going to be great to pick up too many linens i did get those couple of pairs of placemats though it's a little rams nfl bear that one was two and the mickey they've got at six so it looks like the plush and toys they're pricing up a little bit as well Back here in the back, look at this. This is a gorgeous table runner and it matches those pillowcases and it is four. And here's another really, really pretty dresser scarf. And this one is four, but I think this one will go for 20 to 25. So I think I'm going to pick that one up and it is in really, really good condition. And it's hard to find those dresser scarves with at least not some staining. So the bigger pieces I'm okay paying a little bit more for. And this is like a little pillow sham. I think it was handmade. It looks like here. Yes, Fern made this in 1991. They've got it at $3. I didn't get it. Um, I don't know how popular the division of aeronautics might be. Now, you know, we got to look at the cups. This is really cool. It's edge of the cedars and it's actually new and it's only a dollar. There's some black stuff here though, but I'm going to see if I can scratch it off. And yes, it will come off. I was thinking the paint might've been scraped off, but it was actually just something stuck on there. Little Tweety Freeze Mug. Those typically are only about 8 to $10. And they had that one priced at 3 Now, this is a Vintage Fire King. That one they had marked at 10 The plain white ones are not worth very much. And this was plastic. I, w I was hoping it was glass, but it was plastic. Look at this. So this is $10. But I believe... This is Benjamin Chang fused glass, and I think this will sell around $75. So we are definitely going to get that base. That was a great find. All right, they have another little section with collectibles here on the other side of the store. This is more collectibles than the China, like was on the other side. This guy's kind of cool. They've got him at two, but I'm not very familiar with like Asian and Oriental figures, so I think I will leave him. And we'll look and see what else. I was thinking this might be a little cat's meow, but it looks like it's um, a more generic little house. And all of like those little swans are typically mass produced, so they really don't sell for too much. This is cute little mirror, but they have it at ten dollars. Their pricing's kind of all over the place here, which is okay, but you know, let's see if we see anything else. This one's four. That one's probably only worth about 15 too. I do try to be more picky. I'm not trying to have a ton of stuff. I do have a ton of stuff, but I'm not trying to. 
This one is almost like a generic Yadro. That one they had at 10. So we will definitely pass on that one as well. All right, so it kind of sucked. The woven placemats that I found with the matching table runner, the placemats weren't priced, so they wouldn't let me buy them. They said they have a linen person that comes in and prices just the linens. Even though I got other sets of placemats, they were all $2, she would not sell them to me. I left the table runner there. I really hate to split up that set. It was a beautiful vintage woven set. I hate leaving it, but... That amazing fused glass vase is worth 75 plus dollars. There was one that sold for 75, picked that up for 10. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you everything I got again. All right, I didn't get a bunch and they wouldn't let me buy my favorite placemats and table runner because they weren't priced. So I was kind of upset about that. The best find is this Benjamin Chang fused glass vase. This should go for at least 75. I got this really cool State Park Museum in Blanding, Utah, Utah Edge of the Cedars uh, water bottle. It's still new with the sticker. It was only a dollar. It was only two dollars for this cute little dried flowers in a bottle with a cork. And then the panel to make a bunch of things was only two. I paid 50 cent for the vintage stocking and then I got two sets of placemats for two dollars. The best ones were the ones that were woven that they would not let me buy. So super upset about that and then really really pretty excellent condition red rose dresser scarf. So small haul. I've never been to this store. I might go, but probably not for a few months to let some inventory turn over. If you're interested in any of these, give me an email, thenurseflipper at yahoo.com, and I will see you on the next one.